You don't have to be a do-it-yourselfer to own a few basic hand tools. Even the renovationally challenged are likely to possess a hammer, a screwdriver, maybe even a pair of pliers. If not in a toolbox, then at least crammed into a messy drawer somewhere. Here's a look at how some hand tools are made. Every screwdriver and chisel has to have a handle. This factory makes handles from acetate, a synthetic resin. These two meter long acetate bars come in many colors and contours. They arrive here ready made. Workers load the bars onto a machine that feeds them into a lathe. As the lathe spins, an automated knife cuts one handle after another, rounding off what will be the top of the handle. And it sculpts the other end. Then a drill makes the hole into which they'll later insert the blade. All this takes just a few seconds. Now the handles travel to their next stop, the dipping machine. Acetate becomes dull and opaque when cut, so the machine dips them in acetone, a chemical solvent. This brings back their translucence and shine. It also removes any acetate shavings stuck to the ends. Here's what the handles look like before the acetone bath. And here's what they look like after. The handles air dry on their way to the next stop on the production line, printing. The hot stamp printer works in conjunction with an ink ribbon. It applies about 25 kilograms of pressure, engraving the product code and brand name, while the heat, about 70 degrees Celsius, transfers the ink from the ribbon into the engraved lettering. The handles are finished and it's finally time to insert the blades. In this case, Phillips head screwdriver blades. Blades are made of carbon steel. An automated machine forces them into the handle with about 36 kilograms of pressure. Workers insert chisel blades manually in order to protect their sharp edge. At the same time, they top the handle with a steel cap to give the chisel extra striking power. Another common hand tool is the drywall square, also known as a T-square. They cut two strips of aluminum, the first 1.4 meters long, the second 56 centimeters long. Then they apply the markings by silkscreen printing. Next, they use a bending machine to fold over the top edge of the piece that will form the horizontal part of the T. This will allow the tool to hook onto the edge of a drywall panel. Finally, they rivet the two pieces together. The drywall square is finished. Factories can alter the size of the tools they produce to meet their client's specifications. Standard screwdrivers have handles 9 to 11 centimeters long, with blades 4 to 20 centimeters in length. Some screwdrivers, on the other hand, have extra long blades, while stubby screwdrivers have short handles for getting into tight places. Then there are those skinny pocket screwdrivers and precision screwdrivers for jewelers and electronics technicians. All of which proves there's a tool that's the right size for every job.